All right, so there's not many times that I review a product, but there's this very handy pump that I've discovered that I use to clean out my 3D printer. I use it to filter out smaller tanks of electroforming solution and whatever else. I mean, you could actually buy one of these and hook it up to something and make drinks with it or whatever. You know, it's really sweet. It's called a peristallic pump. So it uses friction to move liquid through a tube so that means that the liquid never touches the inside the motor. Okay, it's only in the tube. And the tube is inexpensive. You can switch it out to different medias. Uh, it's so good. It is. Uh, they make another variation of this. It's a little bit more expensive and it actually kind of sucks because it doesn't move liquid as much as this one. This one's on Amazon. I'll send a link below and let me show you what I'm using it for for right now. And this is kind of for, I set this up for new people that have larger tanks. Just as an example, I actually filter my tanks a little bit different. I use a, a rack mount system or a racking system to, to filter my tanks. So I can filter five gallons at a time. But that's a little, it's not dangerous, but it's not, it's not really safe either. So if you're new and you want to filter out a tank that's rather large, one, I would just let it dehydrate, okay? If you have more than one, just let the one dehydrate, get as much water as you can out, get enough water where it doesn't crystallize, however, so keep that much water in. Then you're going to find yourself a big funnel. I'll put a link below to this funnel and then a smaller funnel to fit inside it. So a 16 ounce funnel works out really well. The reason is you use a number six coffee filter. You can get them in, you know, just your coffee aisle. They're the bamboo variation. I'll put a link to the bigger funnel, the smaller funnel, and the bamboo filters in the link in um, kind of a just a hot link where you can go to to look at them. This filter has a hole in the back of it. This funnel has a hole in the back of it so that you can mount it on things. You can see it right, right there. See the screw? So what I did is I mounted it on a 2x4 and then it was on a, nailed it to another 2x6 at a distance that I could set a milk jug in there and look at the milk jug really sturdy. I can interchange the milk jug as much as I want and the peristallic pump will suck fluid out of the tank and into the funnel. And it does it as a, at a rate that it doesn't get over bogged down where you don't have to, you have to babysit it all the time. So I can set this at a lower rate and then go do my chores. I can go do laundry, I can do all the stuff that yeah, I have to do, and then I can come back and then I can change my milk jug. It's brilliant, it's awesome. So that pump, good times. If you have a 3D printer too, you know how you have to change the 3D resin in it? That pump works really good. Same pump too. All you do is have to clean it out with water and then run um, rubbing alcohol through it and you're good to go. You, will, you can run acids through it, you can run um, any kind of liquid that I've come across as long as it's like you know, a real thin liquid. But I would imagine even a thick liquid would go through it just a little slower. All right. So that's my product review of a peristallic pump. I hope you enjoy.